Hello and welcome everyone, Laha here with part 94 of the Prussia Let's Play. For Napoleon Total War with Darth Mod, we continue where we left things off last time. Thank you once again for your comments, advice, tactics and suggestions. It's all greatly appreciated. Do keep them coming. So this episode we are doing one thing and one thing only. And that is charging on in with Von Blücher and the other five armies around him. Not this one because we've already moved it and we can't really move it much further this turn. So we'll just leave it where it currently stands. But yeah, the five armies including Von Blücher... Uh, over towards this collection of armies uh, on the path to Bucharest. But first, before we start moving them, we need to go to the options, game settings, and turn off that battle time limit. Obviously, without having a time limit, it does mean that if the AI bugs out in the battle and for some reason we can't completely wipe them out, um, we might end up sort of losing because we'd have to probably close the battle down. If that scenario happens, we'd probably reload the battle and see if the, uh, you know, if it doesn't bug out or what have you. I'm hoping it won't do. I think we should be okay. Uh, I will make a save just beforehand if we need to do it. Um, if it still bugs out, then I guess worst case scenario is we have to try an auto-resolve and hope that the dice of Total War fates are in our favour. But um, yeah, we'll see. So with that battle time limit turned off, we won't have one. So we'll have plenty of time to crush all of these armies. Because otherwise, we'd probably only get maybe through two, three of them if we're lucky. So first of all, let's bring Von Blücher over. And then let's get the rest of them over here. So be careful because I don't want to trigger the battle early. We'll have the full collection of forces here. Then we move Von Bluka forward. And then we just play the army shuffle of slowly but surely move them up. They don't need to be right beside him because we're just going to get Von Bluka to actually attack uh, this army out here. Although that one's got loads of... Uh, Malicious, that'd be a good one to take out early, but we'll go for this one first. We should bring in these guys. We might get lucky and only bring in four of them, not full five, but that would give us time then to move in with these guys possibly around here. Otherwise, we've got to leave them here for a turn for Von Blücher to continue pushing. Yeah, right, they're all in, in the circle, so let's send Von Blücher forward and begin. <laughs> So they didn't intercept him actually coming on in. That's good. So yeah, we've got five armies total. They've actually brought in all five of theirs. Okay, so that's 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 at least good on the fact that this is the showdown here. This clears a path to Bucharest for us once and for all. Uh, we've just got to think a little bit about reinforcements because they have got a butt ton of cavalry. The really, really good thing is that I've only just noticed it's not until their third... Uh, no, their fourth and fifth armies that they actually get any kind of cannon. And Von blucher has gone headlong into this with four cannons. Um, so we shouldn't need any more cannons straight away. Uh, we also won't need any more generals straight away. So what I'm going to do is swap out um, the reinforcements first of all. We'll put in some cavalry coming in as well. But then it's all about that infantry start things off. And then the cannons will eventually come in uh, later on. So that's that first army sorted. Second one again. We need some infantry. I know they've got loads of cavalry, but if we, if I can <laughs> keep an eye on my battle line, <laughs> like that's that's happening, uh, then we should be able to deal with all that cavalry charging in. But we'll have the cavalry within the first few reinforcements for most of these guys. Uh, this one, you know what? Let's have the cavalry coming straight on in. Um, and then we'll fill up the infantry. Put the sharpshooters at the end. Or midway through, that's fine. And then these guys have got cavalry coming in. And they've got more cannons. We'll just swap the cannons out for those infantry units. Is that... Oh, there's an experimental howitzer. Oh, okay. In that case, I want that right at the front. Because I, I really... That's what I need, actually. I need an experimental howitzer. To rain some death down on these guys. And we have none in any of these guys. Can I... Ah, oh, yeah, we can. We can put these guys in first. Nice. So that howitzer should come in first. Uh, then it's all cavalry, which we don't want. At least not yet straight away with this army. So we'll swap around the first few units. Nice. Ah, oh, lovely. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. We've got some cavalry coming in. We've got lots of infantry coming in. But Blue's Force has no cavalry. The whole, the whole plan is just to hold like crazy and blast these guys into pieces. So, yeah, let's um, save before we go in in case there is a crash. I have no battle time limit, and then let's go do this. Balance power, I would say... Uh, I kind of want to say it's a 
tiniest smidge in our favour, but maybe that is bang on in the centre. It looks to me, though... Uh, I don't know, maybe it is like dead in the middle of the two cross swords. But anyway, let's dive on in and fight this battle. This is what the whole episode is about. This battle, 5v5, let's do it. Okay, quite a dark map. Ugh, straining my vision. Right, um, so yeah, we've got cannons, so we want to... Well, I know we're attacking. Um, there is no clock face, there is no timer for this. Um, we're going to come in from that way, I guess. But yeah, seeing as they don't have artillery, they should just charge towards my line. I really need to find a better position than what we currently got. I don't like... The, I mean, we can deploy between the forests. I think that's where we're going to... There's some high ground up here where we could place artillery. And it's relatively clear sort of here in the centre. So, two cannons right in the centre. Although, I think I will put at least one infantry unit in between the two of you. Just to offer you guys that sort of square in the middle. That might help. Actually, with the light infantry, I'm glad I've got these guys because we are going to do the whole stakes in the middle that I did last episode. Spread them out a little bit so they sort of maximise that. I mean, I guess we could get them to put the, the mines up right now as well. And then we'll shuffle you forward. Guess we might as well. Right, we've got a random um, life grenadier unit in there, but that's fine. So it's those two in the centre. Uh, I'm going to group all of you guys together anyway. Uh, God, there is no... Oh, there is clear ground right over here. That is wide, though. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, but I think we'll we'll give it a go, though. Lots to give it a go. How's the terrain? It's okay. It's clear line of sight. So that's okay. And then the other one, I would already kind of worked out a, plot, a place for you. They're on this right flank. That hill there. Nah, that's fine. Can't put the uh, an infantry unit out on the far right of it just yet. So I'll have to watch out for that. Um, in terms of reserves, I'm not... I don't think I'm going to have any. We'll see how the line spreads out first. Um, but let's take that grenadier unit and put them in, in between these two. And I'm actually going to spread you guys out a little bit more. Just to yeah, get full firepower in the center. That's fine. Right, so then you've got a lot of space in between those two. I reckon there's space for four. Oh, it's even further, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, there is space for five. Put the Brunswicker in there as well. Maybe not fully stretched, but we'll see. Yeah, not fully stretched, but that's not too bad. There's that cannon right to there, please. You guys hold that. I think you should be fine here. I think it's the, num the sheer number of cavalry. I'm quite tempted to put up stakes. Because they might just charge into the line. There's going to be lots of them coming in. I'm not going to be able to catch every single one. Um, let's... Let's go for stakes this time. Um, yeah. Right, then on this side, we've got a fair bit of room, actually. So we'll come back to you with whoever we've got left. Again, the reason we're going to spread wide on this is because there's so many troops here. We don't want anyone flanking us, so that's why we're going to go wide on this one. Okay, um, you two to there, then. Right, so there's two there. And there, group four. Okay, so I am left with six units. So we'll go keep it fair. Th well, actually, we've already got heavily load on this side. There's not much on the other side. So I think just two units then to control the last of this right flank, which we'll send around in a minute. God, unfortunately, we can't place more stakes. Not unless I popped you guys there to fill some of the gaps and then move you along in a minute. The same here, just in case. 
tell them to run along. And then... Ah, not that unit, so it's only three. That's fine. Three can then look after the whole left flank. Put you guys along a little bit more. And place your stakes down. Um, yeah, I mean, the cavalry's going to focus on that side, but we'll be okay. We'll sit back in the trees here. All right, all right, all right. That is looking good for me. Um, where'd those other units go? There they are. Okay. Start the battle. Bring you guys up. Here, I know there's a bit of a mound in front of you, but do it. Artillery. Fire, fire, fire. That will draw them in because they have not brought theirs. Although I say that, didn't think about range, but that's fine. They're going to come in towards us. Again, no time limit, so we're all good on that. We have to then wipe them all out or all the troops that are coming on in. Balance power. Again, I think that's slightly in my favor. You can tell how confident I am about that uh, that guess there through how squeaky my voice is going. Looks all right. <laughs> right, let's um, put these guys a fair ways out, actually, so it'll slow the cavalry down early before they get to us, and hopefully that'll give us time to sort of reload and then pepper them with uh, canister. So you move forward as well. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. That camera, I mean, it's going to come for us. Pressure on us with squares. So, I'm going to get this flank ready anyway. Break it up a little bit. Actually, you, guys should, you should sit just in front of the stakes. We want, it, we want the square staggered. Because otherwise we're going to end up overlapping with the fire a bit too much. So let's pop you up there. You there. You'll sit right next to this one and form square. Cool, 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 cool. Right, you guys are up here. Stake me, please. Stake me, please. That'll spread along far enough up here to cover these guys. I hope. Ooh, maybe not enough, actually. Okay, that's got that one covered. I mean, there's going to be a gap. Well, I think it'll be a small gap, though. So they'll get blasted by us in the meanwhile. That is yeah, not as much coverage as I was hoping for that. I should have moved him further over to the right. But hey-ho. That'll do. Is that out of range of my infantry? Oh, it's just. That's fine. That means these guys can stay here for a little bit. Behind the stakes when they're done. Although, we're, uh, we'll put you out of direct um, line of the canister shot. Otherwise, that is going to hurt. Their line is that angle, though. Are they are they still within range? They must be, yeah. Range of some of my cannons. I'm imagining they will press towards us, though. Otherwise, we're just going to be able to shell them out. And we've got unlimited ammo, obviously, on artillery in this game, which is wonderful. Um, I'm surprised Darth will never actually put in any ammo limitations on cannons. But I guess without a sort of supply system to work on top of it, I don't know. Well, it's you replenish after every battle anyway. I think it kind of works. I guess by having unlimited ammo to simulate the supply system as such, or to negate the Lack of one in the game. Right, we're going to fast forward. It's going to be... Pass is going to be long. But I think I'm, I'm just going to show everything. I don't think we'll cut forward or anything like that. We'll just show the whole thing. I'll, I'll speed up at points in this. This whole episode is about this battle. So this... I imagine this is going to be one long video. <laughs> uh, if it turns out shorter, it turns out shorter. But um, yeah, I can't imagine, imagine this uh, not being a long one. 
just actually hit play because. Well, that's that cannon. You guys should definitely be taking advantage of shooting up all this cavalry. Can this cannon hit them as well? Is the question? No, it cannot. It's only. Only that one. Which managed to miss. Don't use up too much of the bombardment because the rest of them are still wandering around over here. Uh, they're coming towards us though. Yeah, that cavalry does not like being shot at. So they're sending in the first wave. The attack begins. My staggered lines. I won't form them into square because they do have the stakes. Plus they're swinging wide. Let's wait till they get a bit closer. Cannon. Oh, they're firing at that one over there. You might want to fire at the one right in front of you, laddie. Oh, yeah, that, that clipped him a bit. Square with you. I want them to f yeah, they're going over with that one over there. Oh, the first volley. Yes, that's the stuff, right. Square with you as well. They're still going to come in over against these guys. Square with you guys. I'm not putting you guys into square. Here we go. How many of them are actually going to make it? Oh, they're about to fire canister into them as well. Are they actually going to make it? No, they bugged out. That worked really well. Got two cavalry units sitting high over on that right side. Infantry's moving up without that support there. I mean, I don't have any cavalry to tackle theirs anyway, and I think with the sheer number of cavalry they have, and my obviously supreme cavalry skills that you all know and love, uh, there's really not too much point me bothering to uh, to engage their cav with mine. I'd use cavalry if I had it to chase down some of this militia to break it, rear charge it, what have you. But since I don't have it, that's fine. So yeah, those guys staggered like so. That works wonders. That slaughtered them. I think a little bit of overlapping fire with these guys, but to be expected, plus they did get a little bit of cavalry charge on them. It's fine. Yeah, they're, they're coming in there, so we can switch to canister in a while. These guys are sitting hidden, so they'll be able to blast the enemy first. Although I say that, you guys are unlucky in that you're in the dip there. Actually, so are you guys. It's awful positioning. Okay, so... Shuffle you guys into the woods over there. And shuffle you guys... Top terrain over there. You can retreat to the infantry if you need to. The thing is, there is some cavalry there. I'd be tempted to force this line infantry forward a bit to try and tackle that. But then we lose the terrain. So let's have them sit like so... That's enemy reinforcements, right? Yeah, because they lost that cavalry unit. Okay, that's fine. They're coming in straight from behind. That's where I expect it. Not a problem. I'm surprised they haven't tried charging more cavalry in. Maybe they were just very, very upset with that first, that first engagement. How close am I? It's being shot. Okay, so when the enemy gets really close, we know that's when they'll fire through us. But we'll pull them back by then. Like close with them a little bit, but that's more to protect these guys. Offer a square. So There'll be this one here. Let's like yeah, swing it around a bit more. That's fine. Oh, what a bounce! Yeah, I'm saving the um, barrage now for when. When they get closer, because we'll not just barrage them with 
canister. You guys are down one extra barrage because obviously we had the cavalry coming in. Okay, yeah, we're well out of range of canister. So it's about when they get to this tree line, this ridge here. That's when we when they crest it. That's when we can switch everyone to canister. Cool, 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 cool. Triple speed it just as much as they come on in. Cavalry is trying to make a play on the left. These cannon actually, we will probably end up wheeling it forward a bit, maybe. I think we'll just try and hold our position though. Just because looking at things right now, there's not a lot of pressure on this left side. Through a few of our own troops there with the fire. Okay. Keep putting that infantry round to watch it. Putting these guys through. Oh, they got clipped at the right moment. They're running along the line. They'll get shot at enough to break them. Imagine. Oh my god, that's going through my line, isn't it? Yep, that's just killed like a hundred of my own guys. It's gone through the stakes, haven't they? And it's not killed any of them, as far as I can tell. There they go. Right at the fences, though, so they'll get shot at. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we actually need to move with this cannon to... A about here. Von Bluka down the center. Ah, they've charged the cannon. Get the cannon crew away. So you keep them skirmish for now. The cannon can do its thing. back in so they can fire across um, light troops I'm gonna have you here just to sort of protect the cannons flanks a little bit I'm not sure if I'll tell you guys to fire or not though charged again. Run back. Hold in the centre, guys. Just sending all their militia in.
Oh, Ryan for the faces. That's broken that unit. Push him back. So we definitely need another reserve unit to look after the one in the middle because they're struggling. Of them get caught by the stakes, perhaps. <laughs> Enemy gems gone. Okay, now it's the stream of cavalry from the next few units. finish breaking these guys. I think this left flank though is um, well taken care of for now. So it means we've got that cannon still going though. Okay, they've just broken there. You guys back on the cannon. Yeah, this is where we need the reserves in. I don't. Maybe we can pull these guys in from the flanks a little bit. You guys actually held really well over here. I want to pull this unit actually to here. And pull this one back to the middle. after these guys come in we'll send these guys um, back or we'll retreat with them Luca back. Form square with these guys. Ah, they got straight to the artillery unit. Probably lost that one. Should have held them back. But that'll clear out that grouping. As long as there's enough of them to man each cannon, that's fine. So yeah, there's still plenty there. you guys out of square and tell you guys to get out of here. Withdraw. Really, guys? Thanks for... Oh, my God. Shoot at these guys, you muppets. 
Thanks for wrecking this reserve unit that was going to be fine. And I'm going to have to send that one back as well. Ugh. And you guys are going to get charged now. And they're getting charged as well. Ugh, God damn it, stupid artillery crews. Thankfully, they got broken pretty quickly. Might still be able to use most of these cannons. But reinforcements coming in from this side now as well. On the right. Good, all four cannons are still operable. Lucky, right, so yeah, reinforce coming from the right now. You guys are going to be lucky over here if anything comes your way, to be honest. These guys coming on in, that's fine. Uh, why the hell are you coming in? I told you to sit right at the back. Go away. We don't need you here. It's all about Von Blucher today. And I've got cavalry coming. Which is not exactly what I need, but we'll make do. There's now a hole in my center. No, not you either. Go away. Literally, I told all of these generals to come in last. Did it reset or something? When I was shuffling them around? That's the case. Grand. That's it, shred them. Come on, they're going straight into stakes too. Slowed their charge. Now just keep firing so I don't need to swap you guys into square yet. We've got a cavalry group for better for worse, so we'll need to utilize it. So let's have it on the right flank. Right flank, left flank. <sighs> what I really needed was infantry. Really reinforcing straight from behind. Coming from the sides. I mean, I've had a couple of armies out on the wings, I guess, but there were a few behind me. So that's the problem. If they defeat my position where we currently are, it's going to take a while for me to reform, whereas they've currently got all the map to reform over. Or to at least group up in. Can still go badly for us. I mean, we'll take we can take heavy casualties here. It's not going to be a light casualty thing, but still, I think we can send you guys back. But I'm kind of tempted, seeing as I'm not really utilizing you guys that much, to send you back as well and hope that we get either cavalry, infantry, whatever. Cavalry, unfortunately, you're probably not going to have a particularly long lifespan in this because we'll probably throw you into infantry blocks only to get charged by enemy cab. But we'll see if we can pick off these guys before they get to us. That would be lovely. And he goes back to round shot for now, at least. But remember, eventually they will get cannon as well. I must say, I think we should shuffle these guys along. Reform that centre block. Obviously cover up where the cannons used to be. Still keep that cannon over there, we just won't have as many of them over here. Yeah, that'll do for now. Drawing any of them to us. So that shores up the center a bit. Uh, I mean, we've got more cannons coming in now. Horse artillery at least. 
I have a plan. Let's bring you into the back here. Don't run into any of these stakes. Oh, okay, the four have one big collective. Oh no, they're actually, yeah, they're turning back around again. Let's whack it on fast forward for a while because ain't much happening. They're still pulling those guys back together to reform. That's the problem our infantry is going to be. Bit of, bit of a tatter after this. What I'm hoping is it will actually plug up the, uh, the center with just pure cannon here. Up to the fences at least. So actually, that whole unit's not needed. But what we'll do is have them as direct reinforcements to the center gap. Turn them off fire at will. Have the artillery... Force artillery here. Just keep on hammering them. We've got this left flank ready in case we need to do anything. Pull back to or whatever. All about the shelling. Right, let's have you guys literally right behind. Worried about that right flank, but... Now, once they've engaged, that's when we can swing in with these three units of cavalry, although it looks like they're drawing them over to that flank, so I might just pull them back a smidge now. And on limber. Do you think cannons, in fact, I'll give you a barrage right now so that you can get a good blast off to start with? They're on their crews. So yeah, right. Center's reformed cannon-wise. That's good. We'll take it. And they're forming up their battle line with plenty of cavalry behind. Oh, able to shell it. But again, see, I, th I think, well... It says we're 38 minutes into the recording. I think it took five minutes at the start before we even jumped into the battle. So we're a good halfway through what the timer would have given us. And as far as I can tell, we're only one army down. So they've got three more to come in after we clear the field of this one. Again, they're going to form on up and move to us. But I'm able to shell them this whole time, which is good, apart from this one. Oh, no, it's because you're on canister. Whoopsie. My bad. Sorry. Thinking, why the hell are you firing? They're now firing. Because they're coming towards... This is the militia, or a large chunk of it was militia. The German fusiliers making up others. Yeah, there's lots of land here. All over the place. They're now coming on in, so we'll blast them with mechanics. Just sit back, see how they advance for a bit. Keep shelling them as they come. Got some cavalry over here, which does concern me a little bit, but thankfully my cannon seems to have spotted that early. Q 
keep blasting in there. They're in a nice packed formation. Like going off that one there. No. Hit the U-lands, please. But I guess if they're missing that, they're going to bounce and clip them as well. That's fine. Again, the whole right side is relatively open. That's okay. If they're not going to move up to support with their cavalry, it means we can swoop on in. Tear them down, which at the moment doesn't look like they want to do anything with their cavalry. The AI is just like, no. Nope. <laughs> or whatever, but yeah. That means we can get some nice charges in. Ideally, after this, we probably want to position our cavalry on the right flank, but we'll see. We'll see what the formation is. That ridge line. God, you can see all the bodies. Considering they're on their full second army, and I'm still mostly on my first. Okay, we've got three cavalry and some more cannons. But infantry wise, we still mainly held it together. That's pretty good. Move that unit back so we can get a better square going. I'm not moving that cavalry. I'm going to go in with mine. Land where, land where, land where. Jaegers. Right, they're also super susceptible to uh, us charging in. And I'm going to decide to go more aggressive over here. Yeah, that broke him. God, just got the canister going in time. Oh, my cavalry gets killed. Charge him in. Reacting with any of theirs doesn't look like it so far. That's it, cavalry. Bundle on in. That's clearing out the middle. Oh, did they play stakes? They did. Right, cavalry back to the left flank. Meanwhile, clear that line. Let's get over to this flank to deal with them. They just keep on charging. Ideally, we want to try and chase these guys down, but I don't think we can close in on them enough. Let's see what we can get. So, if we can deal with... The rest of this army and one more. That means Von Blucher's army deals with three of the five armies. 
because we'll need as many of ours fully intact as we can to finish the rest off. That is if I don't keep oh, canistering my own cab. I'm in place. Fine, I expected as much. But yeah, that has tied them up, allowing my canister to reeve through them. Whoa! Oh no, that was. I thought that was loads of my guys flying off them, but no, it was this unit. Oh, they did manage to. Oh no, it was probably some of my guys. They managed to form square. Cheeky sods. At least break this unit. If they don't stop bringing in more reinforcements, I'd be inclined to think that maybe the AI's given up and isn't bringing any more in. There is that infantry that's just come on in on its own. Sometimes the AI doesn't commit all of its forces, decides to call it a day. But I imagine more will be coming in. We'll see if there's another square that comes in soon. There's more here. This unit. Uh, more artillery. Is that what I really need right now? I don't really want to... I mean, these are horse artillery, so they're always quite useful. And I guess we could have... One right up on that flank, but... Pop another one in here, I guess, alongside this one. The cavalry's just gone over there anyway, so it's fine. That cavalry unit did survive, though. I'm not too worried, though, if, uh, you know, losing the cavalry. It's the infantry we need to hold the line. Primarily. Yeah, there's more cavalry coming. Finally decided to send some of them forward. Uh, no, they are dribbling the infantry in now. That's fine. That one's got to that just there. Depends if they're going to form up properly again, though, or not. The bodies littering the floor. It's crazy. Oh, finally got more infantry. Yes, that's what we got. Left flank is fine, so infantry, you're going to be heading down to the center spots. Off fire at will, though. Uh, they've got more coming in over here. That's fine. Yeah, we need infantry in the center and on that right flank. You guys out of ammo? Oh no, you're on that mood though. I say I don't think the canister can hit them there because they're up up the hill. Which is unfortunate. All right, swap all you guys back. Round shot for a little while. You guys are always on it. There we go, that's the volley. That breaks that unit.
Oh, yeah, they got a big old group coming in here. More land here. It looks like they're out of whatever was reinforcing at the back here. They've got a cavalry unit coming in from over here, so maybe that's their new entry point. Looks like they've got some artillery coming in. Okay, so if we're going to send cavalry anywhere, it's got to loop all the way around to deal with that. You're our only unit of cavalry right now, so you are super valuable to us. So I'm going to send you over to the trees over here. Might have a mission for you, but we'll see what the AI does. Okay. They're going to form up in the middle and then redirect, I would imagine. We've got more cannons here. Um, I was going to try and get them in here, wasn't I? as well maximize our firepower. Just be careful with those stakes. Might lose the uh, cavalry though as they turn around here. We'll see. Might go straight into these stakes. Oh, no, they're actually kind of avoiding them. That's good. Surely dead. Yep. Right, so this Grenadier unit, seeing as that unit's actually quite fine, I'm just going to pop another Grenadier unit on this right flank. We take them across the whole line, but in fact, just bring them up over here first so they don't wander in front of the cannons. <sighs> They've got four cavalry units at the back holding for now. And their cannon is going to take a long time to bring it into position. It might even be easier bringing the cavalry round down this flank. We'll see where it eventually ends up. But we've got my cavalry hidden now over in this forest if we need to send it off, but we can't until... These four cavalry units at the back are advanced. Those are advancing, you will die. Back to canister. Bounce with that one, good. And I'll take you guys to get into position. You guys are still firing round shots, so we're relatively safe. It's good. That's good. Next wave. Incoming. Still more of them popping in from over here. Fair dues. 
And you guys can switch to canister now too. Oh yeah. Just shred him good, boys. Next wave coming in is looking nasty. Tell that cannon on the flanks to do some stuff. Sending some of that cavalry forward. You guys are thinking about it as well. So they think about it a little bit more. I can get in and attack that one. How strong... Oh, that cavalry unit's moving as well. Nice. Cool. If they're not bringing any more... If we don't see any more troops pop in, this might be their final surge, and they've committed three armies. Oh, look at the shredding. So many Austrian dead. Brave Prussians have also fallen this day, but not to the same extent, which is good. I'll swing you guys around. There's no cavalry coming, so... Get you guys involved. Oh, that is, just, that is just glorious to watch, you know. They're actually heading towards this flank as well, which is interesting. Cool, 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 cool. I can't see any more reinforcements coming just yet, although they've obviously got to come off the map. But we'll, again, that, we'll have to wait and see. Quickly reload. Oh, that'll do it. Yep. Yeah. Right, back to round shot now. It's a fine. They're getting in by the fence. They shouldn't be able to break them. Fire! Actually, I think that might be why there's not any more coming in at the moment, because they've just committed everything to a full forward attack. We'll see. Sometimes I think if sometimes can you if you route them all before they get someone in, then sometimes they don't send any more in. Oh, if we can only take out that unit of cavalry, then I could swoop in and take out the cannon. Everything else is pretty broken right now. Surprised. Oh no, we sent that cavalry back. Good. They've gone. Or on that unit if you can, cannon. Oh yeah, that saw them off. Nice. See. Tear into those Jaegers. No, they've got more coming in still. More land here. It'll take a while for them to rebuild, though. Which give us some time. You guys need to pull back. You're exposed. We need to draw these guys in so the canister can have some more fun. Oh, it's such a shame that these guys haven't moved up. I'm thinking about it, though. Clear out that cannon. Then they're all coming in from over here still. That's fine. Problem is with this hill, actually. Yeah. Unless I place another cannon over here, that's probably. If we do get more cannon, I need to send another one over this way.
It looks like they're moving that cavalry unit up. Yep, good. They're also moving the cav uh, the cannon itself. I need those guys to get way close before I can commit those to an attack on these guys. We might have broken them. We're an hour in to the recording, so we'd have, what, five minutes left of a normal battle. Ah, they're bringing more reinforcements in over here. How many more will they bring on in? Keep on bringing all the armies, or are they done? Okay, I think, I think we can get away with sending this cavalry in. Charging them all the way across, which is definitely going to tire them out. But they should still be able to do it. Might shuffle a few more troops over this side. There's any more cavalry. Infantry, more cavalry coming. Yeah, there's plenty of lancers on the way. Ah, balls. Are they putting this one back to go deal with my cavalry? They might be. Oh, you got. Oh, you went over stakes or something. Yeah, all over the stakes. Yeah, that, that one is going after McCavery. Cheeky sods. Who are they? No, I don't think they know quite. Yeah, I don't think they know what they're doing. That's more artillery back there. Go. You've committed cavalry, so go for it now. That's them gone too. Back on your cannons, please. Tired, but you're about to get to that artillery. We've got grenadiers here alongside the house. If I can throw them in there, though, that'd be good. But I don't think so. I think we're going to get wrecked by those guys. Just have to hope that we can break this cannon. Well done, cavalry. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Just completely wipe them out with the charge. Nice. Into the next one, go. They are just all crawling up this right side, aren't they? We need to shuffle some more guys over. Possibly even pull this cannon back and send it over to the right. Somehow this cavalry's managed to get away <laughs> after wiping out that cannon. These guys will probably shoot just a bit, but again, if we can just get a solid charge into the howitzer, you guys are going to be the MVPs. The swift messengers. Back at the start when I was naming units, there's just too many units to name now. Unfortunately. Here we go. Come on, don't break on me yet. Slaughter these guys. Make sure that howitzer never gets out. Yeah, all dead. If I can, I'll try and get you guys out of here. You deserve it. Do that or you'll break. I'm going to try and get you as close to the red line as possible and then tell you to withdraw. That's right there, but I want to get away from the firing as well. I mean, it might be useful to have a unit over here. They've placed stakes there, but you know, that's where they're going to focus. Right, withdraw. That's it. Get out of the battle. You've done your part. Well done. You live to fight another day. Yeah, this... I think we can probably swing this whole flank round now. That's our, These are our new pivot points. So, grab all of that. A really nice ridge line there as well. Okay, 
Okay, and advance forward with this cannon. You two guys. To about there, please. God, why is everything coming in on that flank? I mean, we could just fold this left flank back, but we'd have to abandon the cannon positions. I think we should hold on to them as long as we can. Some reinforcements that way. I was kind of hoping we just get some right behind us. That would have been grand. Tempted to pull this cavalry unit back and place it at the top of the hill here, because it could be a lot we could do there. Let's give it a go. Back to round shot with you guys. Back to round shot with you guys for now. You guys at this point, I'd almost say permanently stay on canister, but switch it to round as well. Yeah, they're all just filling in from over here. So yeah, they are going to send in all their armies. I think this must be, what, fourth? Or have I miscounted and we're still only on third? Well, there's either one more to come after this or two more to come. Tilt them back a bit. Cannon over to the right flank. Fire on down that channel. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Let's right, see so you guys. Stormtroopers. In you go then, lads. Problem with, is if these guys get charged by cavalry, there's not much we can do. They are spilling out into the middle a little bit. Oh, these guys are also out of ammo. I was thinking, why aren't you guys firing? Charge them in as well, in which case we probably don't want to send our... Also, in fact, okay, that makes a case for falling back over this way. So, for now, let's just do that. Well, look to do that. It's canister time. I'm hoping that they're coming over towards this new battle line. That'll draw us across our existing line quite nicely. Okay, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna keep you guys over here for now. You've done good charging forward there. So this majority of the infantry is still Von Blucher's initial army. He'll get a new one off this, we'll send some back to replenish. Or even merge up with that other army we used last episode. But I've got to admit, yeah, I'm rather impressed with how well they've held against the Austrian swarm, but that's because it's still the mix of militia. Not pumping out the very best. That's good. You guys are out of ammo. That's the, that's the problem we have now. A lot of them are going to be out of, out of ammo. But I'm just going to leave them here to take the hits. To just draw enemy in close enough before we can canister their faces.
square for you guys. Hold that flank. Charge the Jaegers. Grenadiers have finally made it over. Warriors of Berlin. Yeah, another one. If we had enough time to completely reform the line, I'd probably send them all back, but I don't think we do at the moment. Because if we get broken from this position, where all of my guys will suddenly reinforce from will be over here. So we just form up a new battle line together and then push forward. So, even if they don't have any ammo, I'm going to hold them there just because it's the cannons doing most of the killing anyway. We just need the infantry just to draw them to our line. I don't charge them, actually. You'll be still be useful infantry to me over here. So, let me get the new troops in play. Oh, the dead across the battlefield. The bodies. That is insane. I think this, must, this is the single most sort of bloody battlefield I've had in any Napoleon Total War campaign. It's because obviously we got rid of the time limit. That's crazy. Absolute madness. I mean, you can barely... It's, it's almost a, just a field of white bodies. Damn. I mean, you can see the, the scale of it even sort of zoomed out here, flying on over the map. That's craziness. Let's not form it into square. We clearly didn't need to. Artillery, shuffle forward a smidge more. I'll unlimber you. And that's a spot. Firing across the field. Cannons, you guys, as always, have done a stellar job, even though some of you really screwed up early on. But, you know, it's fine. You guys, I am going to have to move you forward, because otherwise you're not going to be firing on decent terrain. Even there, you're not going to be firing that well. Okay, I'm going to have to have them up here with you guys in sort of watch behind, but that gives them good terrain to fire down on. Good, 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 good. They've got more reinforcements now coming in from bottom left. I guess bottom right, top right, depending on how you orientate the map. So I think that is final force, I think. I'll be in for a nice surprise when it's not. <laughs> yeah, so those are going to take a while. I mean, we could use that then as a chance to send some of these guys back. They're in the main line. Uh, where are you? No, you've got ammo. You do not. That's still kind of a key position though, isn't it? Kind of need them to break these guys then retreat back. If you can do that before these guys come in on on mass, then yeah. I'll tell them to withdraw. They've got artillery over here. We'll probably have to advance towards them anyway. In which case I've got a job for these guys. I actually think you guys will be fine here, so pull back. You guys just run out of ammo. That's fine.
So we've got this artillery piece, which I've not deployed yet. It seems we've got those guys up over here now. Let's give this another go, this plan. Popped off those explosion explosives there. I'm impressed by it. Go go go! Getting stormtroopers. Got my grenadiers over here. Keep on firing. In they go. Nice. And what do we got? We got cavalry. That'll do. Uh, not light troops, though. Bye bye. Trying to pick off my cannon crew. Shred them, please. You guys have seen them away. You can retreat. Off you go. Get those guys before they move on in. Oh, that is how you crumble them. More artillery. Um, you know what? Yeah, some of them are getting pretty. That one's ropey in the middle. Noise. I might move you just forward a smidge, though. So again, you can channel it down this way. canister now. I think we've finally broken all their cavalry. So it is just the infantry to waddle their way in. Which if they keep coming from the back here could take a while. Could be a bit annoying. But we shall see. We've got cavalry now though that we can charge in on ourselves. Ourselves on our own rather. So you guys go here. Just forward a smidge. There is no one here, actually. That's where the, those two units need to go. <laughs> I was just thinking, hey, God, I bit it. Oh, only one of them can go there. That's fine. We'll just wait for them to come on in. Uh, 
Oh, good. Right, you guys are fresh. Um, charge you in across here. Fire on these guys before they start shooting you. That one gone. A here, a we, a go. There's a charge. Those grenadiers have got ha ha. Deal with the ones behind, then we move up on these guys. Bye-bye. And by the looks of things, there are no more reinforcements coming on in. So that is that. the last few over here to break and we have ourselves a victory as the new infantry finally makes their way up got hit just in time There we go. Just the last one in the middle. Jaegers, of course. They have broken. And that is that. We'll just hit continue just for a few more seconds. Last few shots to bounce with him. And just to take a look at that battlefield once more. Look at that carnage. That center. It's just crazy. Yeah, I don't think I've had a bloodier battle than that. Wow. Okay, well, that is where we're going to wrap this one up for now, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, we will... Oh, I was about to do the full outro, but let's at least hit close victory and get out to the menu and see what the results of that is. Ooh, we lost 2,839. It says a 600 friendly fire in that. But we killed two... Fa well, we killed 1,900... Uh, 1,900... We killed <laughs> 19,826. In total, the enemy lost 2,100... Uh, 2,000... Oh, my God. 21,302. Clearly not with it with the numbers today. Um, there we go. 
21,302. Uh, they have 6,610 remaining. I have 22,575. Most kills, 4,519 by the artillery, 3,046, 2,137, 1,468, 1,349. Damn. Highest number of kills, though, by infantry, Black Brunswickers, 645. And let's see... Where that sends those armies off, they're going to split up all over the place. Lovely. That's fine. That is fine. That gives us the opportunity to keep on pushing forward. And the only armies that took a hit were Von Blucher's and, yeah, the uh, Prussian Prince and a couple of those guys. Everyone else, these two armies in particular, are good to go. Well... We will pick up with that next episode. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Till the next one. Ciao for now.